I am T. Colin Campbell. I hold an endowed chair at the Cornell University in the Division of Nutritional Sciences. Um, my official title is uh, Jacob Gould Sherman Professor of Nutritional Biochemistry. I'm also director of the China Oxford Cornell Project on Diet and Health. Casein is a carcinogen. Really? Many people have heard me say casein, the main protein in cow's milk, is the most relevant chemical carcinogen ever identified. I'm guilty. It's charged. Casein causes cancer. Casein, casein is the most relevant chemical carcinogen ever identified. Casein, the prominent protein of cow's milk, actually is the most relevant cancer-causing chemical ever identified. And I suspect that many of you have not heard that before, but this is the result of dozens of experiments over a long period of time, published, quite frankly, in the very, in the very best journal. Casein, this was really provocative. And that was the idea that casein itself is the most relevant chemical car carcinogen ever tested. If you no, recognize that, I mean, that was about as provocative as I, I can assure you that one could ever imagine. The most revered of all nutrients, animal-based protein, if you will, if I can say that, causing the most, uh, most serious of all diseases, cancer. This I remind again, we're talking about cow's milk protein. Uh, furthermore, in studies in our own laboratory, over many years, research that was funded for 19 consecutive years by NIH, I should point out, involving more than 100 publications in the peer-reviewed literature, what we were essentially able to show in those studies with rats and with mice, that we could take casein when fed at normal levels of intake and just watch tumors grow. We could take the casein away and turn off the growth of these tumors. We could put casein back in again, turn tumor growth back on again, take it away, turn it off. We could do many of these different kinds of sort of combination studies uh, such that we could essentially control the growth rate of tumors in these experimental animals simply by giving them normal levels of casein, what is generally considered to be normal, like 20% casein. I mean, just a regular level of casein could do this. It wasn't anything excessive. It was the kind of levels that we consume, either as casein or as other animal-based proteins. Uh, so I would argue, as I did in a seminar at Cornell a little over a year ago, that of all the carcinogens that we consume, such things as pesticides, herbicides, all these other odd chemicals that we get exposed to, which are bad stuff, mind you, but if, all these, if we apply the same rules for the determination of the carcinogenicity that we do to those chemicals, we apply that to the test of casein. Casein is the most important chemical carcinogen that we consume.